my name is Dee Mac and welcome to my Django recipe sharing and meal planner app. So this is aimed at beginners. So if you have a good level of knowledge and understanding of Django already, then this probably isn't for you. So some of the videos are quite long and I'm trying my best to explain them and go back and show you error messages and explain why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it what would happen if I didn't do that. It is expected that you would have some prior knowledge in HTML and CSS. Um, hopefully it's well enough explained that um, you can do it without Django knowledge. Um, but we, I suppose we'll see how we go. So part one is going to cover the recipe sharing side of the app. So we are going to do full CRUD. So CRUD stands for create, read, update, and delete. Um, we're going to do class-based views, and we will also cover some querying. So searching for the recipes using a form. So part two is going to cover the meal planner side. So the meal planner is what's going to allow you to go into that recipe bank and you know plan out your meals for that week. So that will also cover the creating of user profiles, storing the meal planners to the profile and the user, and then it will cover the final deployment to a cloud hosting provider. So if you are going to follow along to the videos and you would like to use the same setup as me, then you will need to install Python locally onto your machine. You will also need VS Code and you will need Git if you would like to push it to the remote repository. Now I do want to point out here that while I do front end development, I am usually given designs, but because this is something I've created from scratch, it doesn't look the greatest. So um, usually I would compare my design skills to that of a two year old with a crayon. I hope you enjoy the videos and if you have any comments or you find something wasn't explained well enough, then please, please do leave some feedback. 